on the onset, I would like to thank you um, and the UPF for organizing this uh, interactive session. And uh, I will, uh, I'm grateful to all of you uh, to, for inviting me. Uh, I would like to introduce myself. Um, I'm, uh, my name is Ali Hader Gilani and I, uh, uh, come to, I'm a member of, uh, of the parliament of Punjab, which is one of the largest uh, province in Pakistan in terms of population. And I'm leading Pakistan People's Party, which is also one of the largest political parties in Pakistan. Um, on the, uh, I would, I would, in the start, I would like to commend the response of the NHS uh, in UK uh, to the COVID-19 crisis, which was unparalleled to any government um, run institution globally. Uh, you know, the COVID-19 crisis is the challenge for almost all countries. However, it poses greater risks for resource stressed countries such as Pakistan. Sadly, the leadership in Pakistan has been unable to respond to the challenge with the promptness and seriousness of the purpose that was required. There will, uh, there will be many lessons that humanity as a whole and nations will learn from COVID-19 crisis. It has highlighted the need for pressing science over populist rhetoric, the need for empathetic governments and compassionate societies. However, one key revelation is that no country can fight global challenges alone and the response has to be united, coordinated and rooted in recognizing the interdependence and universal values in pursuit of mutual prosperity. The people of Pakistan have a deep and meaningful relationship. Uh, the, you know, the people of UK and Pakistan um, have a deep and meaningful relationship and Pakistan has often relied on UK in times of need to play the role of a trustworthy ally and a benefactor. The COVID-19 crisis is no different. The UK in, is playing a leading role in global effort to tackle coronavirus, including on vaccine development, strengthening healthcare systems and support for global economy. And for that, Pakistan is grateful. UK's recent support has extended beyond COVID-19 and also includes locust prayers, another serious challenge for Pakistan, which Pakistan is facing right now. Pakistanis in UK and British Pakistani doctors, nurses, and volunteers have contributed to UK's fight against pandemic in UK and in the extremely important work of developing a vaccine. The COVID-19 crisis has given an opportunity for people of Pakistan and UK to demonstrate, demonstrate love, mutual respect and shared values. The, uh, Pakistan needs, to, uh, needs the support of UK in fighting not only the virus, but to revive its economy. The economic mismanagement by the Pakistani government has aggravated the crisis and millions are unemployed and businesses are shutting down. This support should be based on recognizing the mutual benefit of globalized trade and industry. The potential of Pakistan's hardworking, industrious people remains unrealized and with the support of frontline allies such as UK will unlock this potential to both uh, the countries and the people. And at the end, I would like to thank you all for having me um, and my special gratitude for Mr. Ambuto Angolucci and Mr. David Fraser Harris and the UPF UK.